Oklahoma has probably gotten the most attention this year for its deadly tornadoes, but researchers have found that in the long run, it may be more Mississippi and Alabama at greatest risk. Traditional Tornado Alley includes Oklahoma. We typically think of areas from Texas up to Colorado and Kansas and over into Minnesota and Iowa as having the most tornadoes, but that is partly due to the fact that it's so barren, devoid of trees and pretty flat there. You can see the tornadoes. It's a favorite area for tornado chasers, and that has made us familiar with the fact that tornadoes occur a lot in those areas. But when you count how many days per year an area gets tornadoes, there's a big area from the Rockies all the way to the Appalachians and southeast that get a lot of days with tornadoes. In fact, there you begin to get a sense that maybe some of those Gulf Coast states that we often call Dixie Alley have the most days with tornadoes. Some of that is because in the winter months, when it's too cold farther to the north, the Gulf Coast states can still get tornadoes. And the new research by Coleman and Dixon of University of Alabama Huntsville and Mississippi State University show that the corridor, when you consider the strong tornadoes, F2 or higher or EF2 or higher on the enhanced Vegeta scale and the track lengths, the maximum, the bullseye if you will, occurs across the states of Mississippi and Alabama. That's an area that was included in that super outbreak of 2011. So you need to be careful in all states anytime there's a tornado warning, but maybe a little bit more so in some of the Dixie Alley than we once thought.